impromptu live stream. I was sitting here tinkering some stuff, so I thought I'd just start streaming. Wasn't prepared for it, I thought I'd just chuck one up. So, hello everyone that's dropped in. Um, I was tinkering with a electrofusion unit. We had to replace, well, reattach the mains power cord on it because it was frayed on the outside. Someone's been dragging it on the ground. So I decided to cut it off and re-terminate it. Um, that's done now. We've got another one to fix as well, which is potentially a more serious issue. We'll see what that one is. But uh, I'll sort of tinker around, play some music, which means I won't get monetized. This one will get demonetized because of the music. So, you know, eh, I thought I'd make a change though. Hey, Rob. Hey, Johnny. All right, we'll carry on. I will check the chat from time to time. I'm just going to tinker at the bench, basically. You guys can watch. I suppose I should actually test this to make sure it works, eh? Yeah, I should. Hey, Dave's here. Hey, Dave. Hey, it's the first time we've seen you. One of my streams, Dave. Christian as well. Christian. Right. Turn it down a little bit. Okay. This thing puts out um, about 500 watts into this big ass resistor just here. So let's see if it's going to work today. Having just repaired the power cable. Just, I just want to make sure that these other leads and stuff are working okay because the common fault with these with these leads will break right here. I get a lot of these to fix, so let's give it a go. Looks like it's working fine. Under one volts, AC, that's fine. Yeah, that's working fine. No issues there. That's one fixed. It's Dave the first, this is the second channel, yes. <laughs> it is the real Dave. 
<laughs> hey Dave, do you ever see those shirts and stuff I made? I actually did a, I don't know what it was. I had some weird idea. I actually did. Um, yeah, let's change this. I actually did some shirts which said "I'm not Dave" across the front of them. I did some cups and stuff as well. I actually did a mask. I think the mask was the best one. Face mask and it has my "I'm not Dave" across the front of it. I thought they'd be quite good, but no one's bought any. Don't know why. Yes, yeah, see, I'm dressed up in my vest. Nah, don't care. I'm on holiday. So this is going to be really hot now because it's chopped 500 watts onto it. And I've got to test another one yet, so I can need to set up. Got another one here. I can get into it. This one I've repaired previously. That's my heat shrink on there. But they're both stretching a little bit. I think they've been yanked. I think this one's broken. See that's come on by pushing that one. Yeah. This one's broken to fix that one. Right. Oh well. Underneath here, the last time there was a little slick and sleeve as well, so we'll be careful not to damage that. I guess you guys can hear me okay, the music in the background is not too loud. Let me know. So they can call it stuck to the other one. Let's try and put it down a bit. Chit chat. Thanks, Vin. DRAM repair, it's not done yet. I'm waiting for a tester to arrive. I want to do testing first. Dave might have gone again. At least I'm sitting there quietly, I don't know.
Okay then, let's go. right here. Stretch it out and see it again thinner. Do you feel the lump in the cable? Well the depression in the cable. So I'll cut it right there and burn. Burn. Soldering on. Just can't be tangled up with everything. As you can see, I've done this a few times. Doesn't take me long. Not anymore. Oh, put it that way, don't make that again. Yeah, I'm saying I've done it a few times and I'm making a mistake. <laughs> put the lubrication away, don't put that away yet. Yeah. Gotta slide that collar back here. Yeah. It's um, silicon. And do you know what else I forgot to do? <laughs> I forgot to put the heat shrink on. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry I've done this a few times and I'll make, make a mess of it. That's awesome, isn't it?
Now we've got to find the right instrument. So I have to keep the silicon sleeve intact to try and help the waterproofing. I would have been done otherwise. Half <laughs> being an idiot. See how the cord out. Check, check what I'm waiting. All right, where are we? Hey, Chris, what are you still doing up? I've made that mistake before, eh, John? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is a resistor. It's my my, resi my version of Dave. With his, this is a knife. This is a resistor. <laughs> there are bigger ones. This is only just big enough for the job. It's a thousand watt resistor. Inside there. Right. Should we put these on the other round actually? Come on. Incorporate.
Let me try this out again and actually have it work this time. Really? Really, Jankovic? <laughs> right, reckons it's good. Let's push the start button. I'll just get my meter out first. I'm on six volts. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Right, good. That's two ultrasonic, sorry, ultrasonic, not ultrasonic welders, electro fusion welders. So, what these are used for, if you haven't seen them previously, and I've done other repairs on these, is um, welding pipes together. So, you get uh, High density polyethylene pipes, which are used in like main infrastructure, like you know, this could be 600 mil wide, that sort of stuff, quite big pipes for main water supply. And they actually weld them together, and they use things like this to do that. Here we are, turn it off on it. Hey, Mako. Uh, Right, let's have a look. Let's check in the chat now. Right, well, that's a bit of an impromptu stream. Wanting to put a 150 watt, not 2950 DX onto a linear. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> well, you, well, you could, but you have to chuck it through a big uh, resistive low first to drop the voltage down, drop the uh, wattage down. I feel like I should change my shirt. <laughs> In fact, I should turn my air conditioning down a bit more. It's a bit warm. Cool. So, yep, yeah, two things fixed. So that's good. So, if anyone wants any updates on the 3561A, which we were working on the previous live stream, um, that I have RAM has arrived, but I'm still waiting for a tester. So, I actually want to test the RAM before I put it in to make sure what I'm putting in is not broken as well or broken worse. So, I'm waiting for a tester to arrive, and I ordered them, ordered two lots of RAM. And a tester all at the same time, and so far only one lot of RAMs arrived. Um, the tester and the other RAM have not been seen for three weeks. Last scan three weeks ago, nothing since. So yeah, they're probably on a ship somewhere. So it might be another month yet. So I'll finish that one off once we actually get the rest of the bits to do that. So I don't want to put the RAM in unless I've tested it first, in case it's got some other fault which blows other stuff up. So. Who knows what I'm actually getting? I mean, it is new? Is it? Is it new old stock? Has it been pulled? Has it been refurbished? Is it fake? Don't know. So I want to test it. So uh, yeah, that's where we are with that. Um, you've probably seen my other projects I've got queued up, haven't you? Got oh yes, this thing here. So I showed in a mailbag with the missing knobs. Been denobbed. Um, I actually, the sender, although they took the knobs off in the first place, they actually gave me a full refund, so I got this for free in the end, which means I'm happy enough with the outcome. I would have preferred to have the knobs though, because I wanted the knobs. I said, give me the knobs or give me a refund, they gave me a refund, so I guess they figured the knobs are worth too much. So I've got a few projects here queued up waiting to go, but. Yeah. Knobgate. <laughs> the denobulator. I don't know. Oh dear. Anyway. Um I suppose there's someone working on my driveway today, but they're not turned up. Yeah. 
you see someone mention pink LEDs or sick rules, it's a fact that they've been corrupted by us. Yeah, well, you know, if you will, if you hang out a bit Looney's channel, you know, this is going to happen to you, isn't it? <laughs> Chicken head knobs. I uh, don't think so. I don't want to pay $30 to ship a knob. Yeah. Well, the, I only paid $10 for the unit, but the postage was... I think it was about eighty dollars, seventy or eighty dollars, something like that, postage. So the postage was way more than unit was worth. Um, so yeah, did I fix two devices in twenty-seven minutes? Yes, I did, but they're both for easy fixes. They're just wires, not hard. You know, I just thought oh, I was sitting, had some music going. Oh, let's chuck a live stream on. Have some music going in the background and just show me working at the bench. I wasn't actually intending to do a live stream and chatting everyone. Um, oh, let's get on it. Hmm. Um, yeah, so that was a bit unexpected. I wasn't really planning on doing a stream today. It just Felt like turning the camera on and doing one. I need a haircut. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. I need a haircut. I need a bit of shirt on. Anyway. Use chicken heads. I don't know about that. I, I've got knobs. I've got loads of knobs in drawers. I've got some knobs to put on there. I've got something I can use. If not, I can buy something that looks nice enough. I don't know if I'm even going to use it. What temperature is it here right now? It's actually a bit colder today. It's uh, 21.4 degrees outside right now. Um, although it's warmer in here because we've got all the cameras and lights and stuff on. Actually, I should turn some of the lights off because it adds to the heat. Um, let's turn my econ down. So I've got a new aircon, which makes my life a bit more pleasant in this room. I think I mentioned it before, didn't I? Was that for the last, last live stream? I think I had it in. I think I did. Anyway. Hey, Tom. Um, I'll repair two welders. So, just rewind and have a quick look. Both wire things, nothing big deal. All simple repairs. Um, no, I haven't seen the big welders. I think the biggest ones I've seen are the 10 amp ones. I haven't seen anything bigger than that. I just don't use them. Or well, we don't. I don't get asked to look at those ones, I should say. Um, yeah. Only 437 more things to fix. No, I think there might be more than that. <laughs> I've got so many projects on the go. Like, the other thing I want to do, I've got another multimeter on the bench there, which I need to review. It wasn't a planned review, but I got sent it, so it's going to be included. Um, basically, I think I did it in the mailbag. Yeah, last mailbag, I think I showed it. Which um, Kyrie sent me a little Christmas gift pack thing. And they shoved another multimeter in there. So, that multimeter I'll be doing a review on. That's a, it's a SY600T or ST600Y? ST600Y, it is. So, I thought, hey, we'll do a review on that as well. Why not? So, um, not today. I've. I've already done a few things that I've um, obviously fixed two welders. I also fixed, well, did some work on my bus today and I um, stopped the alternate belt squealing. It come loose. This belt comes loose quite a bit, so it's a bit interesting. It just gradually, I think the adjustments come loose, I think the belt actually slackens off and it does it a lot. So I'm not sure the belt's actually right for it because it just seems to keep on stretching and stretching and stretching. I keep, you know, once or twice a year I have to adjust it. Mm. Even with a brand new belt it did the same thing, you know. A couple of times in one year I have to adjust it. Um, I'll change the live chat. Oh. Hold on. It's always default to top chat, it's annoying. Yeah, live chat. I don't know why it does that, it's annoying. Um, 
it has to be certified over 12 months yeah yeah so there's a company which do do repairs and stuff as well and testing of the welders here um, and I just get asked to look at some basic faults and stuff like that just simple stuff they'll still go and get them checked properly but I just do the basic stuff and just do easy repairs on them just because I can do a really quick turnaround you know they give them to me and I'm getting back to them the next day whereas if they give them to the outfit I might have to wait for it for a week or two Yeah. Right. Anyway, so that's that done. So you got this in my big resistor. I think I've shown it before, haven't I? When I've done repairs on these welders before, when I've done actual videos. I think you would have seen it then. But, um, yeah. I'm trying to think if I should tinker with anything else or not. Or should I not get committed? Yeah, someone said it's, they're supposed to be coming to do my driveway today. This some work on it yesterday. And they're coming back today to put some gravel down on it, some fine stuff, because they're going to get finally get the thing paved. Um, it's a job I've been meaning to do for about five years. I've got the pavers. I just haven't put them down. It's one of the jobs I'll get to one day. And um, yeah, wife got sick of waiting. She's, she's hired a guy to do it. it suits me. Um, um, was there a porn link? I didn't see a porn link. I didn't see any links come up. Oh, I saw the message. Ah, oh, on a that one there. Okay, so Johnny, you dealt with it, did you? Okay. I don't want to get spam on my channel. Maybe it's time of day because it's after midday. Yeah. Anyway, so I've been thinking around a few things and just doing so. I did almost did some actually I did record some video. I had a couple of repairs I've done in <laughs> me and Marjorie Jane. <laughs> um I've done a couple of repairs around the place. I did some work on the reversing camera system on my bus a couple of days ago. Um, I could give you a spoiler. It's to say it wasn't working properly and I pulled everything apart and um, then found the problem and put it back together again and it's all working now. I did some video on that. Um, and also an issue with my water pump as well. I mean, it's on, on tank water here, where I am, near Rory. So there's no mains water supply, so it's all tanks and reef water, catching water. And um, pump decided to start playing up. I got up the other day, last week, and the pump was just running. And it'd been running for a while. I couldn't touch the pump housing. The motor was okay, that was cool, but the pump was so hot I couldn't touch it. And it's got a plastic impeller. That's great. So... Um, I thought maybe is the controller was not switching off the pump. Yeah. I went through a long process of diagnosis. Actually did a tear down of the controller, reverse engineered it, figured out the circuitry, did that in a video, drew out a little hand circuit diagram, big Clive-esque, and um, so that'll be in the video when I do that one. I've, I'm not sure when that would be there. It might be maybe a month away, I'm not sure. I've got a about two months worth of videos may be either recorded or planned. That's where I'm at with these right now. So I'm going to give you some spoilers about what's coming up. How's that? So next week I'll be doing a must tool MC11 multimeter review. I'm also doing another electronic pair, which is a Rex Roth variable displacement pump controller. We have a different one. Um, then what else have I got recorded? Got a DC charger failure, which I repaired. A pump repair, a pump system. I've got a fog lamp correction on my car. That was an interesting one. Probably does interest you most of you that much. It's more of an automotive thing, and it's not 
that thrilling. It's only a fairly short video, as there will be. I haven't actually edited it yet. Um, I've got a little teardown of a Toyota reversing camera adapter. It's a little module you can buy. Not very expensive. I think it's like 10 bucks something from AliExpress, maybe less. I thought I'd pull one apart before I threw it away because I wasn't going to use it. Um, salvage some parts from that. Thought I'd do a little video on that. It's probably like a two minute video for that thing. Um, got a iPhone 6s screen and battery replacement video. I've got a reversing camera system repair, which is the one on the bus, which I mentioned before. Those ones which I've already got recorded. Um, and I've got half a dozen more which I haven't recorded yet. So, got a lot of work on there. You know, if you consider I'm doing two, maybe three videos a week, depending on what they are. And there's other things I'll be recording in between all of these as well, so that does push it back a bit. Um, so I've probably got, you know, probably close to two months worth of stuff there. We're ready. So, I'm actually got the next week's videos already recorded and done. I don't have a mailbag video for next week yet because I don't have enough stuff. I've only got two items. Um, hey Fred, bloody late stream. Yeah, I wasn't planning on streaming today. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I don't actually have enough to do a mailbag video yet, unfortunately. Wish I did. But, uh, no. I'm hoping I'll get some mail this week. Don't know if there will be or not, being Christmas time, you know. I uh, don't know if I'm going to get the mail. Then, if there's no mail this week, I might be doing a mailbag next week, but probably the week after, assuming I get mail then. Um, Posty tends to have breaks at Christmas, so maybe he's off this week, I don't know. We'll find out if I get his mail turn up. So, hopefully I get some mail, then I can do a mailbag on Monday. That will be three videos next week. If not, it'll be two. Uh, so, this chat, I was ignoring whilst I was waffling. Yeah, the green icon is channel membership. So if you, if someone's a member of the channel, like a YouTube membership, not a Patreon membership, they're separate systems, um, the YouTube membership will give you that flag with a dollar sign, a soldering iron icon. Um, and the more soldering irons there are, the longer you've been there. So, um, yeah, it's one of the few perks that, that um, YouTube members get. There's more perks for the Patreon side of things than I for YouTube side of things. So if you're thinking about becoming a member or Patreon, then if you can, do the Patreon route. Um, if you want to stick, keep it all on YouTube, that's fine. You can do that too, but you get less perks that way. I do a bit more for Patreons, so it's just easier to do it. Like I can attach files and service manuals, stuff like that, to the Patreon ones, whereas I can't do that for the YouTube ones, which is a bit of a shame. Um, DefCAD, yeah, I've done DefCAD, Tom. Um, I actually did a DefCAD a couple of years ago. I was doing something, I can't remember what it was. And I actually had a little DefCAD thing on the corner of the thing. Everyone's got to, everyone's got to jump on that, haven't they? <laughs> Alright, I'm almost caught up. Guess you missed tinkering? Yeah, a little bit. I wasn't playing in live streaming. But um, the mood took me and I decided to just go live. Why not? So, everyone's having a good Christmas. Got yourself some presents. Got some things to play with. Maybe you bought them for yourself or someone bought them for you. That's irrelevant. If you've got any toys, hopefully. I don't know. My wife keeps buying me chocolate, which is fine by me. The the, uh, the trick is to not eat it all at once. <laughs> That's a bit of trouble with. I quite like chocolate. As you can tell by my physique. See the weather's warm. Yes, it is. It's actually, oh, now it says 22.7 degrees. I guess the sun's coming out of it. Um, yeah. It's actually cooler than it has been. It's, 
it's up to like 27 or so a few days ago. Are you diabetic? Yes, be careful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just, you know, one a day or every couple of days or something. Spread them out. That's what I try and do as well. I'm not diabetic, at least not yet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I try and minimise my intake of them. Just, you know, spread them out over days. You have a radio controlled car the size of a matchbox car which has full proportional steering and drive. Turbo Racer C73. I think I got something like that for my kids many years ago when they were younger. Um, they weren't, they were okay, but they weren't wonderful. They weren't quite quick actually, but the batteries didn't last very long because there's only a tiny battery. They were about that sort of size and um, that did go quite well, you know, racing around the house on them. Yeah, but those are more toys than, than you know actual proper radio controlled cars. So, I mean, they worked as radio control, obviously, but they probably weren't the same quality as what you've got there. Bit of dark shock in the coffee, eh? Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, I sort of just do a random live stream. And as I was tinkering at the bench, I thought I'd stay, turn the stuff on and record something. Well, stream, record something. So I've been trying to get videos done and trying to get ahead. Because once the um, driveway is gravelled, still no guy, um, then um, my job would be delayed. I've got to lay all the papers down, and there's thousands of them, and they weigh what are they, six kilos each or something. I think they were some like pretty heavy papers, so and that's gonna be fun. Well, Fred, I think you missed it. I think you might have got a bit late, but um, I was repairing. I'll show you. That was one of the things I repaired. Just uh, bad wires, nothing too complicated, just pretty simple repairs really. Just bad wires on some um, electrofusion welders. Anyway, right. I'm thinking I might go and do something else now. I've got so many jobs to do around the place, which I need to get done. Uh, what's the other thing I've got to do? I'm trying to think what it was now. I know I had a list I had to do today. Those welders were two of the things I had to do. <laughs> uh, what's the other thing? I've done the, I've done the alternate belt. Oh yes, I have it now. Miniature RC car, oh yeah. Yeah, these, these are smaller ones. They actually produce the same output, strangely. I think uh, the two I just did, actually, no, they're both 500 watt ones. The other ones I did can do 1,000 watts, but they switched down to 500 for most of the time. Um, it's the only thing I've got to fix. This thing here, which I've been working on, which you may or may not remember. did a video on it, I think. Yes, I did. Which is the um, Ethernet version of my gateway. It kind of works. The Ethernet part works, but for some reason, it's not communicating to the um, LoRa modules. For some reason, I mean, I can actually go into the settings and read the settings in the module. So I know there's communication between the module and the USB 32, so they can talk to each other. But when I'm trying to do the networking, they're not working. So it's a bit of a strange situation. Not to lunch, I've got new year. Okay, next time, drop away. Catch you later. So, um, 76 scale. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I need to get that working as well. I've only got probably 
two weeks to get that thing fixed and actually installed and working reliably and fully tested. So I kind of need to get onto that. But um, I'm going to figure out why it's not communicating with the law modules one once it's actually up and running, you know. So, uh, so I can check settings, but I can't get law communication. So when it's sending data across LoRa, it's just pretending it's not there. So I don't know if it's a software glitch where I've rewritten a software to allow for